Ah! You need to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and alts by these exact dates or else you're going to get wrecked, okay? In this show, we're going to talk about is it too late to buy these things? When is there going to be a pullback? Everyone's so greedy right now. Are we going to get a delicious pullback? Bitcoin is killing altcoins right now. How long is that going to last? When is the crash coming? The big crash that makes you soil your pants because it's so horrible. Timing, timing, timing. We need to talk about timing. Let's get on with it, baby. Welcome to the show. My name's Kale. Hey, guys, I'm just going to go off the cuff today. I know you guys like it when I just kind of roll with it. I don't really have a... I have a massive, amazing show planned. Like, I have insane charts. I have insane articles. I have insane uh, insights from really smart people. We're going to talk about altcoins. I have it all planned out for you guys. But at the end of the day, I think you guys really enjoy it when I kind of go off the cuff and get my thoughts out. And my biggest, my biggest overall thought right now is how do we navigate the next six weeks, right? Because in the next six weeks, people are going to make life-changing money. However, there are going to be big swings right there's going to be massive pumps like we saw yesterday with Bitcoin where we get you know just people going oh my gosh Bitcoin above $68,000 call everyone you know buy Bitcoin you got people from high school that you never like Johnny from high school that guy who used to like do drugs underneath the the the, the kitchen the the in, the in the lunchroom while he was drinking chocolate milk he's calling you and he's like man I saw that you made YouTube videos man Hey, should I buy Bitcoin? You got people asking you about Ethereum while you're walking down the street. They're like, hey man, dude, I saw you on YouTube. Oh, yo, yo, Ethereum, bro. You got people saying, is it the best time to buy Dogecoin? That's when you know, like people are going to start FOMOing in, right? And so it is a crazy, crazy market right now. And we need to figure out, let's say Bitcoin, let's just say hypothetically, before we even get this show started, right? Let's say Bitcoin does something like this, right? Where, where it just goes, you know, Boom, 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 boom. It's just a rocky journey up. How do we navigate this, right? Because we want to make the max gains in the next six weeks, right? If that's something that you want to do, make the maximum amount of money in the next six weeks, let's let's stop lying to ourselves. Let's stop saying that we're here for the community and we're here for all of the other people and we just want to be wrap arms around each other and pretend we're penguins, right? No one wants that. What they want is to make the most money before Christmas and have an amazing Christmas with their family. If that is true and you are listening to my voice right now, take your thumb out of your butt and smooch on that button for me. I need a billion likes on this video. I need 40,000. How, how, how much pre-workout do I need to take before every video? Before, like, he literally said, someone asked me a question this morning. I'm going to ask some questions. Uh, we're going to answer some questions at the end of this video. How many scoops of pre-workout do you take before making a video? The answer is 46. I'm ready to go, baby. So before we get into the show, I just want to do a quick update on the project while it's on my mind. This is our NFT project. It's called 2 plus 2 Genesis. We had some crazy FUD happen in the first couple days. Y'all know what happened. It's, it's crazy out there in the world. You know, whatever. So the floor Floor price is down and it's actually at kind of like a discount right now, which is kind of amazing because people are underestimating us. And it's honestly hilarious because they think that all this is is a Discord channel. And the Discord channel, by the way, is incredible. I'm in there every day. These are questions that I got in like 10 minutes this morning. We're going to go through these at the end. And I get questions. I talk in there for like two, three, four hours a day. We actually generate alpha. We actually talk about where we think the market's going, when we're going to take profits, what coins that we think are good. We're not, we're literally trying to generate a professional discussion in there and it's turning into something so amazing and I'm so excited. So that alone is awesome, right? But what people do not understand about our project is that we have a plan. So here is a uh, roadmap. I know it's very, very vague. It's very, very blurred out here, but this is the roadmap that we have been working on and we have planned for utility for this project. And it's going to blow people's mind. And I'm telling you, once this drops, this is going to be a joke. So this is the only NFT project that I'm focused on right now because it's mine, because I'm really excited about it. So I just wanted to obviously drop a little plug for two plus two because gotta love my people, right? So 78,000 subscribers, man. What an amazing community we're building here. Let's get on with the show. Okay. So basically, Basically, at the end of the day, I woke up this morning, right? And I looked at our portfolio. Like, this is the portfolio that I've been telling you guys about if you've been watching the channel since day one, right? I've basically been holding many of the same coins for the for the past month and a half, right? And if you look at this portfolio, it's just sideways. The past 24 hours is just so boring. And this is one of those moments, right, where everyone is calling you like, Bitcoin, all-time high, Ethereum. And you're just like, wait, I'm not making any money. 
what, what, what's going on here, right? Because you're holding altcoins and you're, and you're starting to feel a little depressed. You're like, am I missing out, right? But when you think about it logically, like what really happened yesterday, right? We got a little bit of a move from Bitcoin, okay? We got like a five, six, seven, eight percent move. Nice, right? Ethereum got a nice little move, great. But is that what we're here for? Is that really why we get up in the morning for a five, 10% move? I wanna show you something, guys, because this reminds me so much of October, it's kind of scary. So if you look at the Bitcoin dominance, okay? Bitcoin dominance just means like how well Bitcoin is doing versus everything else, right? And so as you can see here, hold on, let me make this bigger for you guys. Um, this is really interesting, guys, because it's, it's playing out pretty much exactly like October. So if you look right here, at the end of October, basically, uh, I don't know, like 15, 20 days ago, I want to show you. So in this portfolio, if you go back to a longer view, in the last 20 days, we have gotten a 5x on this portfolio, at least, depending on how you allocate it to these coins, right? If you were holding some of these coins, you got a 5, 6x. That's pretty incredible, like a 600% gain, right? But before that, if you just look at this line, look, look at this line. Before that, we were like, oh, oh my gosh, Bitcoin's going up. <laughs> This was like September when Bitcoin went from like 40 to 60, right? We weren't getting that many gains. And I was telling you, go back and watch my videos if you don't believe me. Go watch these videos. I was telling you guys, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Once Bitcoin slows down, we are going to get our 5X. And that's exactly what happened. So you can just see that in the Bitcoin dominance, right? So right here in November, in uh, October, right? The Bitcoin dominance started to go up. You see this little line right here? I know it's small guys, but Bitcoin dominance started to go up a little bit right here. And this is when everyone was like, oh my gosh, my altcoins, they're not performing very well. And I, and I was literally screaming, like go back and watch the dates of these videos. So I'll just pick like October 20th. Uh, I don't know. It would probably something in here, somewhere in here, go back and watch these videos. Like this is when the channel started to explode because I started to become right. Right. I was telling you guys for weeks and weeks and weeks, like we would get like, we would get like 3000, 3000 views on a video, 4000 views on a video. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, 363,000 views, right? And why is that? Because all of the things that I had been saying for months just absolutely came true. And what I what I had been telling you guys is that this was gonna break, right? This was gonna break and the dominance was gonna fall and all the altcoins were gonna go crazy. And that's exactly what happened. And so now it's kind of happening again. I can already feel it in my bones, okay? So Bitcoin is getting all the attention. It's sucking all the life out of the room. But when you look at the chart, it's such a joke, right? Look, 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 the dominance, this this is, this is what people are getting excited about right now. Look at this little move. Look at this little move. Who cares about that, right? It's gonna go up to here. It's gonna go up to here. Bitcoin's gonna head up, in my opinion, to like, I don't know, $78,000. I put it in a tweet right here, okay? Let me just put it right here in a tweet. I think in the next 10 days, Bitcoin can go to like $78,000, okay? That would mean that the Bitcoin dominance would head up a little bit right here, okay? And that makes total sense. And now everyone, all of you will be like, oh, you'll be, you'll be tweeting me like, my altcoins, they're not going up very much. Bitcoin is going up. And then you'll You'll, you'll, you'll sell your altcoins, you'll get like a 4% gain on Bitcoin, and then you're gonna miss the, the, the life-changing entry into altcoins because you're just gonna be too slow. You're gonna be too slow. And this is what's gonna happen. Okay, let me go back here, let me go back here. So Ethereum go to 8K in 11 days, and then this is what you'll miss. Polkadot to 150 means that all of your altcoins will go up five to 10X in the next 30 days. And if you think that you are gonna try to time this out, if you think that you can first, I'm gonna buy Bitcoin, then I'm gonna sell me Bitcoin, and then I'm gonna go to Ethereum, and then I'm gonna go to Polkadot, and then I'm gonna do that. You need to go back and watch some of my videos. Seriously, I think you need to binge watch my videos today because I talk about this like, I don't know exactly which video it's in, but I talk about this like 40,000 times about how doing that, how to jumping between coins is literally the worst way to make money right now. And so I wanted to, I, I, I made this video and said you need to buy stuff by these dates or else because you literally can get wrecked messing this up guys and I feel bad for people that are going to try to chase this because I'm not worried about this little move what I'm worried about right now is trying to get the overall meat of the move what I'm looking to do right now is to 10x my money right five to 10x my money does that sound good to anyone out there if that sounds good to you smooch on the like button. So how can we most efficiently as a community get that five to 10 X? Okay. Let's think about that right now. Okay. So let me look at a few more charts so we can break this down a little bit further. Ethereum looks great. Ethereum is headed to eight K in the next 10 days. I think seven to eight K in the next 10 days. Polkadot looks great. It's consolidating a little bit here. Everything looks great. Ethereum to Bitcoin still looks great. Everything looks 
pretty much exactly like we left it. I don't really need to go through this anymore. So if you're thinking this through and you're like, okay, hold on a second, what should I do? And, th and this is the big elephant in the room right now, okay? Because, because there is a debate that's going on, right? You could decide to wait for a pullback, right? I do think that Bitcoin has a little bit more juice in it right now. So let's say, let's say this happens, okay? I'm just going off the top of my head here, guys. So just, just bear with me because I want this to make sense to you guys and I need you guys to just focus, okay? So ah, come on, I need this chart. I need this chart. Okay, Bitcoin. Okay, okay, here we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Come on, Bitcoin. Oh my gosh, I'm way back in 2017, I think. Hold on. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so let's say let's say this plays out, guys. This is this is what a lot of you guys are worrying about right now, which is a little bit frightening to me. Okay, so if I go into this chart and I think to myself, what's likely going to happen, right? So I think we could go like this, something like this, right? We just we go like this, we go up to seventy eight thousand dollar Bitcoin right here, and then I think we might get a, we might get a pullback like all the way down to sixty, right? I think that could happen, and then we go back up to like I don't know a hundred, something around a hundred, right? If this were to play out, a lot of people right now are trying to like time this out, right? They're trying to say, okay, I wanna, I wanna kind of ride it up to here and then I wanna maybe buy altcoins down here, right? Alts, I wanna buy altcoins down here. That's, a, that's what a lot of people are saying. Um, here's, here's what I think, okay? You wanna know my honest opinion? <laughs> I think this isn't gonna work for you. <laughs> I think this is definitely going to not work because this is too difficult, okay? No one can exactly predict Bitcoin this well. Like this is what I think is gonna happen, but what is more likely to happen if I just change the color of this, right? Let's just change it to red. What's more likely to happen is something totally unpredictable, like like this, like, like sideways and then up to 90 and then back to this and then like here and then here and then here. Like that's probably what's gonna happen because if people think that this is gonna happen, it just, there's just, it's too variable, right? There's there's too much leverage in the system. There's there's we don't know this well enough, right? No one can predict this well enough in my opinion for you to actually make money off of this information, okay? And so I want to try to simplify this for you guys. Like how can you maximize this? And so for me, for me guys, it's very 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 simple, okay? This portfolio right here. I have entries on these coins that are totally like holdable. Does that make sense? Like I bought Altura at tw at 2 cents. I bought Phantom at 278. I bought Polka Markets at 50 cents. I bought UFO at 36 cents. I bought Mover at 338. Kylan at 32 cents. Joe at $3, right? All of the if you have any entries on coins, right? If you have if you have bought Bitcoin around 40k. If you I would sell your Bitcoin into Ethereum. But if you have bought Ethereum around 2k, why in the world would you try to would you try to like sell here? sell here and buy back here anything, right? You're just gonna miss, you're just gonna get wrecked, okay? So so number one rule I would say, guys, is don't, if you have a good entry, if you have something that is like solid, like you believe in, like Polka Bridge, like let's say you bought Polka Bridge at like 150, just hold it, right? If you bought Altura anywhere below 32 cents, which you probably did, right? Just hold it. If you bought a Aleph below, two, below 20 cents, just hold it. Atari, below this, hold, hold. UFO, oh my God, hold. Altura, I already talked about that. Ocean, hold. Polka Markets, hold. Moon River, hold. I sound like that guy. Hold, hold. Kylan, just hold. Guys, like Joe, D-Race, all of these guys, if you have an entry that is at a decent price on these, you need to hold the coin. And that's just my, my that's what I'm doing. I'm not saying you you, you can't try to, to play this out and time this out, this whole pump and dump and all this stuff. But I will say that the last time this happened, this happened literally a month ago, guys. And a lot of people tried to do this. I remember, I remember the tweets. They were like, they were like, Kale, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell, they sold their alts here. This is Bitcoin dominance, right? So they sold their alt, I'll, I'll actually just show you on the uh, Bitcoin chart, okay? On the Bitcoin chart, right? Bitcoin, what started to rip, okay, this is like, this is September, right, okay? So the same exact thing happened in September. So, so people tried to sell right here. They tried to sell their altcoins here. They tried to ride this Bitcoin move up here, right? Then they tried to buy altcoins here, okay? And what this resulted in, I know you can't really tell on this chart. It's really kind of hard to show you to visualize this unless you were involved like I was. I was watching this every single day, okay? What this resulted in is you getting a, okay, so this is, what kind, what type of game is this? Hold on. Oh my gosh, what I'm so bad at trading you guys. I'm not a freaking... All right, hold on, let me do this, okay. So this resulted in a, oh my gosh, this resulted in a 58% a move, is that right? Yeah, 58% move, that's pretty nice. If you, if you just 
had your Bitcoin, except the problem is, is that most people weren't really, didn't really figure it out that soon. They probably bought in, I don't know, around this, around like the 50K mark, I would say. Yeah, 50K, they wrote it up to 60K. That's a 25% move. Okay, so that's that's all right. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> and what they did, they, tra- they got a 25% gain. And what they missed out on was a five to six X in altcoins. Okay, I, I don't know how to like show you this on the charts because it is kind of hard to see. Um, unless you were watching it, but I was personally, trust me, I never owned Bitcoin that entire time. This whole time that Bitcoin was going up from from 40K, right? This whole time, 40K to 67K, I never owned Bitcoin the entire time. So all I owned was this portfolio of altcoins and it really honestly wasn't making any money. It was like, it was sideways, 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 sideways. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden on one day, everything went crazy and we had a 5X in 15 days. I can't make this stuff up guys because it's my literal real money. This is my real actual money, okay? And so what I'm worried about you doing, and I know I've, I know I've belabored this a lot, is doing the same exact thing because it's playing out the same way, right? Like if you try, if you try to get this 10% move here, you're going to miss the entire altcoin move. So what about the people that don't even own altcoins right now? You're, you're trying to make the most money before Christmas, but you're like, when should I buy? What should I do? I think the most responsible thing I can tell you to do guys is just to average in, right? Like over the next few days, I think you have a probably a week here while Bitcoin kind of like, like has its move, right? If Bitcoin's going to go up, I think it's going to happen in the next week. I think it's going to go to 78 K in the next week. And so if I was you, I would start to average into my altcoin positions, right? And you don't, or you, I don't know, man, you could try to wait and time this out, but I don't, I just don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to play out exactly like this. I think it's going to be something weird that, that like we can't predict and altcoins are going to take off when you least expect it, right? And so the only way to kind of avoid that and, and to, to not get wrecked is to average in. So if you have some cash on the sidelines, right? Put some of it in today to Poker Bridge. Put some of it in today to Altura. Put some of it in today to LF. I'm not saying, sorry, I shouldn't say do this with your finance. If I have cash on the sidelines, this is what I'm doing. I'm averaging in to all of these coins. And if you want more detail, I, I think I left some out too. If you want more details into which coins these are, go watch my video from a couple days ago. I did my entire altcoin portfolio right here. And I literally show every single coin. I told if it, literally right? every and every single coin that we uh, so massive uh, that I talk about. Go watch us. this. I was uh, actually my, a little depressed bad. in this video, so maybe watch one of my other videos too because this was like right after some crazy shit happened. But in all my videos, I talk about every single coin that I own, and I just showed a ton of them. But if you were to average into those coins over the next few days, I think that that is your best bet for getting a five to ten x in the next market. I'm not saying that Kylan couldn't take a ten percent dump. I'm not saying that Mover couldn't take a ten percent dump, or if, or even even more if Bitcoin dumps. However, I am not confident based on what I've seen, based on the fact that Burb is saying ninety k is coming quickly for Bitcoin. People and uh, Elon Musk. I didn't even talk about this. I kind of skipped over this, guys. This is the, okay, hold on. Smooch the like button if you like this tweet, okay? Just smooch this. Sitting in cash right now while Elon Musk is holding a $25 billion bazooka that he could potentially point at Bitcoin and Ethereum is the most insane thing I've heard in my life. And this is another reason, guys, why I cannot tell you with confidence that you need to buy Bitcoin here and then sell for Ethereum here and then and then buy altcoins here and then it's gonna go back up. That is just not gonna work. Most like another reason that that could just totally fall apart is if Elon Musk sells Tesla stock. You guys have seen this, right? He might sell his Tesla stock. If he sells Tesla stock and even buys $1 of Bitcoin, I know he has to pay taxes, but if he buys $1 of Bitcoin or Ethereum, we are going to, this chart is going to look absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it is going to go, I, I, I can't even imagine. It would just be parabolic. It would just be straight up. Okay, and that will send everything flying. And the fact that you're playing with that type of fire for a, t- this is literally, guys, your maximum, if you played this perfectly, this scenario that everyone's saying like, oh, we're gonna get 78K, okay. That's a 14% gain, okay. And then let's say you you sold perfectly at the top, perfectly at the top, and then you bought back in at 60K, which probably won't happen. That'd be 23%. So now you're up like 40%. Then you buy altcoins. I mean, the chances of this happening, guys, are zero. It's literally zero. Particularly when you have this giant white swan event sitting in the background waiting to just bazooka the whole market upwards, okay? And so, 
I hope that made sense. I feel like I rambled a little bit on this video, but it, but th that's the only way I know how to get my thoughts out there on the paper because I know that there's life-changing gains to be had in Polka Bridge and Altura and Aleph and Atari. And I wish I had all these pulled up and UFO. Here, I'll just pull up the portfolio, okay? This is the entire portfolio. Let me make it a little bit bigger and I'll just go through this really quickly. I know that there's life-changing gains to be made here. Like seriously, like, like let's just look at this, okay? Hold on. I have some Ethereum, I have some Tether, I have some DOT, I have all this stuff, right? But uh, these are the big ones, right? The ones that are gonna be the 10Xs are the PBR, the Altura, the D-Race, the Polka Markets, the UFO Gaming, the Moon River, the Kylan, the Joe, the Atari, the Poles, the Polka City, the PDEX, the Aleph, the VPP. I'm still looking into Mooney and Umi because that was a whole fiasco, right? I'm not saying buy those. Don't buy those right now. Um, I'm still looking into them. I actually, I want to make sure that they're cool projects, okay? But like these ones that I've been talking about for freaking six months here, guys, like absolute crazy, crazy, crazy uh, gains on these ones. They still have 10x potential. And if you are worried about Bitcoin and Ethereum right now and trying to catch these little moves, I know you're going to get wrecked. So I hope that helped you. If that did help you, please, please, please smooch the like button for me. Send that to a friend who is asking you, is it too late to buy Bitcoin? Is it too late to get into Ethereum? Because we need to get some awareness out there. And if you want more up-to-date updates about what is happening every single day, this is crazy. Like all you have to do is own one NFT, right? And then you jump in a Discord that I'm literally in there with you every single day discussing this market, which is absolutely so much fun, by the way. And then we're gonna be dropping utility in and doing all this stuff. Oh, wait, I have questions. I have questions to answer. So yeah, we're dropping utility. This floor price is gonna go crazy. But anyway, let's answer some of these questions really quick and then we'll get we'll move on, okay? So these are questions from the Discord that, that asked this morning. And so I wanted to answer a few of them on there just to get, give you guys a preview of what's happening. Uh, when is this bull run going to turn out? Will it be similar to 2017 or not? Um, honestly, I think it's playing out exactly like 2017. I would try to get your money into cash by the end of the year. That's my plan, okay? Uh, is this a viable strategy to take profit from DOT? Absolutely not, guys. Remember I just said in this video, do not take your money from one from one coin and put it into another coin right now. That is the easiest way to get wrecked. If you have a good entry point on a coin that you believe in, just hold it for right now, okay? If you don't, if you have cash, then you can make moves, okay? Um, is it safe to start taking profits mid-December? Yes, yes, yes. I told everyone that I'm starting to take profits slowly right now because my bag, because I have huge bags of everything, right? But if you have smaller bags and you want to get the maximum gains, I would I would take profits, you know, mid-December, end of December, okay? That's my, that's my plan right now. How will tax season affect it? This is the number one reason why I don't really want to be holding cryptocurrency into January, right? Because I think that people will do their taxes before Christmas and that will affect the run going forward. Uh, the full first bull run, how do things pop off overnight? Honestly, it's not overnight. It's going to happen in November at some point. It's just hard to predict. Um, is there a possible correction in the next week or so? We just talked about that the whole video. So thank you for the idea. Um, balancing high cap versus low cap. Guys, I just told you this. I If you want maximum gains, you're not going to get maximum gains by putting your money into Ethereum, Polkadot, you know, Phantom. These coins are too big. Maximum gains are going to happen in the smaller coins like Polka Bridge, Altura, D-Race. And for a while, everyone is going to think you are crazy. Like if you go back to the portfolio, literally when I was here, everyone thought I was crazy. Everyone was like, Kale, you're dumb, you're dumb, altcoins are dead, Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin dominance. And then all of a sudden we got a 10x. And that is the exact same thing that is going to happen repeatedly again right now, in my opinion. Okay. A few more questions and we're going to be done. Uh, do you have a list of indicators, parameters that you're looking for? Um, yes. I'm looking for Bitcoin to absolutely go parabolic. So I, it needs to do a lot more than it's doing right now. Like we need to see 130K Bitcoin. We need to say, see 13K Ethereum. And that's when we'll start to be seeing the top, in my opinion. What would, a per, what would affect the percent allocation if you, if you don't want to be very aggressive? This is a good question, right? So what percentage would you put in coins if you don't want to be too aggressive? Bitcoin, Ethereum, other top 10 coins. Well, that's a great question. One, one that, I, that I learned that is just like the safest portfolio I've ever heard of is 33% Bitcoin, 33% Ethereum, and 33% altcoins, right? And so that, that, would be, that would be easy. If you wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, you could just do 50% Ethereum and 50% all these, all these smaller altcoins that I said here. That's what I would probably say. Um, da, 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 let's keep going. Uh, what we, da, 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 we just talked about that is, is a 10 X realistic. Everyone's asking me like, is it realistic for the, and I know it feels, it feels like it's not right. And, and, and this is why I had to make this video kind of off the cuff today, guys, because, and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this, because when I was here, when we were here on this portfolio it, and it was totally sideways and, and Bitcoin was pumping and Ethereum was pumping, I doubted myself, right? I was like, I don't think I can get a 10X. I, I keep telling everyone on YouTube, 
we're gonna get a 10X in all of these coins, but like, is that true? And then all of a sudden we got a 5X in 15 days. And this is not even alt season yet. That was like a pre alt season, to be honest, okay? And so when you see the next sideways band here, which I think is coming, do not panic because you are going to see that ultimate 10, 15 X alt season that is still coming and is still around the corner in my opinion. And then the last question I think was, uh, how many scoops of pre-workout workout do you take before taking a video? Honestly, guys, I know you guys appreciate the energy. I appreciate your energy. If you if you get something from these videos and you feel something different about this channel, because I know a lot of you do, right? Like there's a lot of boring ass channels on crypto right now. If you feel that energy and you haven't taken the energy yourself to take your damn thumb out and stick it on the like button, please help me out because I'm not putting this much energy into shit in order for it not to be seen by a few people. So let's get it freaking seen by some people. Let's help some people. I think this video could help people. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.